Mark is always well addressed. Yeah. Gary. Yeah. Three. Number three. We're going to number three. Three, sorry. Sorry, you're one just You saw the glare in my eyes right now, so I can't see straight. It's the top. Nice games. The evaluation of Sean will be value number three. Mr. Toastmaster, Jeff Rupert. I'm a lazy, over-analytical malcontent, but there's more beneath the surface. How many forgot this was an icebreaker? This was amazing, and I've not been sitting here with his evaluation form, which yes, he brought props for you. I would not have recognized this as an icebreaker. Let's talk about what he did right. This is one thing he did right. Another thing he did, I asked him, do you have an introduction? I shouldn't have to ask that. We've had weeks where there's only been one out of four speakers that has an introduction. He had an introduction that had all the right stuff in it where it set up what he was going to do. He took the iceberg thing. Here's what he didn't have. I said, what's your title? His speech title was blank. He said, I don't have a title. I love the fact that in the spur of the moment during table topics, he came up with, but there's more beneath the surface. And I'm going to tell you why I like that. Because here's not only not only did he call back to it, remember at the end, he concluded his final words were the three points of his speech organization. I'm a lazy, over analytical, malcontent, but there's more beneath the surface. Speechcraft genius right there. He asked me to look for voice fluctuation. He said he can be a bit monotone. Yes. It's something we all can work on. There are a number of places in here. Here's the thing. If he had not asked me to look for it, as I'm going through these seven items, one of which is vocal variety, I would not have necessarily thought about it. So it did not stick out as something that was really drastic or bad that you had us falling asleep and collapsing in our chairs. But it could, it could be punched up a little bit. Here's what I liked about the more beneath the surface. I said I was going to get to he talks about I'm lazy, but then he talks about what that means. I go out of my way to not be productive. That's how I got involved in Cub Scouts, and then he enumerated on some other areas. I love data, but there was more beneath the surface on that too, wasn't there? There was the restaurant, there was the meeting that didn't happen, but also the job on the 82nd floor of Tower 2 that didn't happen. Point three, we're malcontents, poor thieves, axe murders, but there's more beneath that. All of these different business ventures that we get into. So I'm not being magnanimous today, ladies and gentlemen, when I say amazing icebreaker.